Well, as we inch toward the new normal, we're seeing more and more businesses and events adjusting and pivoting so that we can still have a chance to enjoy some of our summertime favorites. And to tell us how she's keeping her well-known and much loved by me events running <laughs> is Jennifer Crawford, founder of Ask Jennifer and the person behind events like All Things Detroit. Welcome back to Live in the D, Jennifer. How are you? I am so happy to be here, Tati. Uh, so great to see you. It's been a while since everything's been going on. It has, it has. Well, listen, as you know, one of my favorite events in the summer is the night markets that you curate, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and, we are, and we are actually back with the night market at Beacon Park. We just kicked it off with Downtown Detroit Partnership last Saturday. And then we are also back every Friday from 11 to 3 for Market Fridays at Cadillac Square, which I guess I have a few products here that I'll be showcasing today to talk about some of the businesses. I love that. We'll talk about those in just a minute. But tell me what kind of shopping experience can people expect at the night market? Well, at the night market, uh, we have anywhere. We've cut it a little short. We cut some of the vendors because we're doing everything we can to keep everyone safe, our customers, our vendors. They're super important to us. So Downtown Detroit Partnership has put together an amazing plan. Everyone has to wear their mask. But it's a great shopping experience because people are able to get out and enjoy the fresh air, wearing their masks, but also supporting small business, shopping local, having great food, and just purchasing some of the local products. Absolutely. Now we're looking at some of the pictures where people are having masks on, but still having a good time holding shopping bags. Yes. Yeah. So now here's one thing you, I okay. always come to one of your shopping events and I find just some bomb stuff. There's no cute way to put it. Last time I left with candles, cookies, earrings. How do you curate the businesses that will be featured at your event? One of the things we look for, uh, we look for something that's very unique. Uh, we look for handmade uh, and we like to have products from local businesses here in Detroit. So those are some of the main things that we look for when we're trying to find these businesses. Uh, just if you make your own, if you make your own lipstick, if you do, if you are a florist, like those things are super duper important, but we really look for unique brands, but we want to give everyone an opportunity to support, to uh, showcase their businesses. I love it. So let's talk about some of the stuff that you have in front of you. Is this some of the stuff that we'll see? This is some of the stuff that you'll see uh, at the night market at Beacon Park and also at Market Fridays. The lip color that I'm wearing, it's actually called Not Waiting, and it's by a local brand called uh, Face FX. And, you know, if you're wearing this color, you're definitely not waiting on anything. <laughs> Flowers for Dreams is, I love it. it. It stays on. It's really great. And she's really starting out. And she's an amazing makeup artist. So we really want to support her. These plants here are for Flowers for Dreams. Uh, they actually give a certain percentage of their proceeds to charity. And so they actually have a flower truck where you can actually walk up to the truck. It's kind of like a food truck, but it's for flowers. Uh, we have a new book by uh, a local author because we will be doing some like local book signings there for local artists. Mm -hmm. Michelle Parazon, she has a wrote in a book for young women uh, and she actually signed this copy for you, Tachi. So I'll get that to you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is one of my favorite, favorite businesses that I've been working with. It is Lacour Chocolate. She does edible uh, treats, edible bouquets, and she's a new business and it's just amazing. I really love how she does all of the strawberries. She does stuffed berries and you can actually get these for any occasion that you have. Uh, and then there's another favorite, Vana Tonics. She does these natural tonics and what they do, what we need right now is definitely immune support, right? Everything is natural. Uh, she got the recipes from her mother from Kenya. She's also coming out with one on Friday for your skin and everything is natural. Everything is natural. It's handmade. Uh, and it's super unique and important. So there's immune, there's joint support, energy, and she has about a variety of 10. One of our vendors that does Market Fridays, and he also does uh, the night market at Beacon Park, is the Cheesecake King. And when you see this guy, mm. Tati, you would think, oh my goodness, like, does this guy make cheesecake? But he does. Everyone thinks that he looks like DJ Khaled. It's kind of like a a joke and everything that they have, but <laughs> he actually makes cheesecakes and they're amazing. So this is his strawberry crunch cheesecake and he sells out every week. And you know, everybody, when you're doing through the, going through the pandemic, you love to have like a great treat when you're going through that. And one of our new vendors 
This is Ty's Treats. They do these small little cheesecake cups, and they'll also be there at the night market and also Market Friday. So we have a lot of sweet treats and desserts, but also flowers, plants, T-shirts. I mean, yeah, this just goes at, on and on as and usually on. you on and on and on there's something literally for everyone so really quickly let us know that how long all of these markets will be running for and where people can get more information okay if you go to uh askjennifer.com you can get information on market fridays at cadillac square which runs from 11 to 3 every friday until september 18th and then also the night market at beacon park every saturday from 7 to midnight and we are running that from uh, until the beginning of september the second week in september so you can go to askjennifer.com for more information or downtowndetroitpark.com you can get all the information you need perfect jennifer thank you so much Thank you. Thank you, Tati. Thank you for having me. Of course. Jason?